All right, folks. Thanks for stopping by the shop. Let me show you what we got going on today. Came out here this morning. I want to work on this little GC engine. I don't know nothing about it. Had it for a while. Need to get it running. Tiller season's coming up. I thought that would be a good engine to have in stock just to uh, do a quick engine replacement. But I got this project. I can't seem to get off my mind. It's an old tush mush engine on a doggone tiller. Tiller ain't in great shape. We'll get into it and see what's going on. But this engine's locked up. And I can't for the life of me get it off my mind. I want to open it up and see what's going on. I have been putting uh, a little something to break it loose down in there every day. Been doing that going on a week now. Still can't get it to budge. So it's time to put something on it. Let's check it out. I want to see what's going on. Is it scrap or is it savable? Guess we'll find out. All right. Well, let's say we get this thing up in there and we're going to work on it. We ain't got to be down there on the ground. Felt like I better check the fluid in that lift table. I'm happy with that right there. We'll work right there. That's better. Let's get this off of here. Somebody done been in it, got all these old rusty bolts here. Ugga dugga. That little old parts bin. Get that spark plug out of there. recoil off. That motor is tight as a hat band, son. Let's go on get this tank off. We'll pull that head on off there. I don't think it's going back together, but we're going to find out. A little old 7 sixteenths hiding underneath that tank. Half inch taking these head bolts off. that far. Let's see how ugly it looks down in there. Good quality pry stick here. Don't go hit casket. Don't look bad. Still got that fluid sitting on top of that cylinder. Right there. Oh, on that cylinder don't look like it's got a mark on it. What's going on here? Get this belt popped off on the back side. I ain't going to show you all that. It's a belt. Heck, can't turn the doggone motor. Oh, look. Now that's sweet. Now, doggone it. How come this wouldn't break loose?
What's up here? A lot of blow by on that ring. That ring stuck. I'm gonna tell you what now. That cylinder, she ain't got a mark on it. Let me get me my cleanest dirty rag and take a look down in there. Them rings. I'm gonna show you. Y'all can't see from over there. I'm gonna move you around. Can't see there either. Y'all see all that? Hear it? Here you come. There it is. What do y'all think? There's something hitting right there. Hey, something going on. Y'all hear that? Something's... Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Ah, uh, there's something else going on in there. That dog on cylinder wall... I don't know if y'all can see what I see. Something. I don't know hitting in there. There's something behind the flywheel. Oh, give me a minute. Get y'all turned around here. Something's stopping that flywheel. I don't think it's internal. I think it's under this flywheel. I can make a partial rotation. Let's see if we can get it off. I hadn't checked to see what year it is. I think the thing's got condenser and points up under there. Three quarter or 11 sixteenths. Socket got that off, that cup off there. Let's get a little, uh, little, get a little pressure behind that thing and see if it'll pop off there. That dog on nut. Sure did come off easy. Now I did squirt it with a little bit of that magic juice to try and get it to break loose, but I get a hook to it. Maybe I'll pull on it. Look at here. Somebody been in there working. I got a doggone socket. I got a doggone socket up in there. 13 millimeter craftsman. And a fish hook. 
<laughs> what do you think about that? Now, that's a first for me. That's a first. Lord have mercy. I'm keeping the socket and I'm throwing the fish hook in the trash. Well, we know we got bad rings anyway. I wonder if that thing worth rebuilding. Old as it old as it is, I don't know. A doggone 13 millimeter socket stuck to the flywheel right on the magnet. That's the first for me. I don't know what I want to do. That doggone condenser's been beat to devil. Guess it's where that socket come around and perfectly hit it. That's what we're jamming up against it right there. Right doggone there. Perfect impression. I don't know if I want to put any more time and money in that thing, but I wanted to see what was stopping it. I guess I found out. That's a heck of a way to get free tools. Curiosity got the best of me. I had to see what was locking this thing down. Before I put that, pulled that recoil cover off of it, I couldn't get it to move either way. I think that old socket was stuck right on top of the condenser. Unfortunately, based on the age of this machine, I really don't know if it's worth me putting time and effort into Probably uh, check out the gearbox on this tiller frame. It's probably unacceptable. But at the end of the day, <laughs> hey, old Root got a free socket. If y'all got anything out of this, how about one of these? Lord knows. One of them subscribes ain't going to hurt you now. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> hey, put that in the toolbox.